In this video, we're going to look at how we can differentiate a function x uh, with respect to y. So it doesn't always have to be written as y is a function of x. You can write it the other way around. So in one way result, which is very useful to us, dy by dx is equal to the reciprocal of dx by dy. So if, for example, a function is given in terms of y, you could maybe find dx by dy, and then you could reciprocal that to find what dy by dx is. So uh, we're just going to jump to the examples. Uh, just two examples here, and then that's us done. It, in this one, x you can see is written in terms of y. So we could say dx by dy is equal to, and if you differentiate y squared with respect to y, you're just going to get 2y. So that means, therefore, that means dy by dx is equal to 1 over 2y. Now, the only problem with this is your uh, your dy by dx is not given in terms of x. So you could change this. So we just uh, we know that x is equal to y squared, which means uh, x to the power of a half is equal to y, or y is equal to the square root of x. So here you could say that dy by dx is equal to 1 over, and instead of writing uh, 1 over 2, and instead of writing y, you write the square root of x. Okay, the next example would be just as easy to do the last step. Well, we're just going to have a go. We're going to differentiate x with respect to y and see what we get when we just do this part of it. You're going to get 3y squared plus um, this. I should have said here, sorry, that uh, we have 4y uh, squared root of y, which is the same as 4 times y to the power of a half. So if you differentiate 4y to the power of a half, you're going to get 2y to the power of minus a half. So that means uh, you have got, that means therefore your dy by dx is just going to be the reciprocal of that. dy by dx is going to be equal to 1 over 3y squared plus 2y to the minus a half. Okay, and it would be just as easy just leaving it as that, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, you're now ready to do uh, topic six, exercise eight. Uh, there's also exercise nine, but again, it's a homework exercise.